Hello guys, what's going on? It's Isis in HD and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. How have you been? You're probably wondering what the fuck this is, like why I'm playing Arma 2. I am playing Arma 2 Daisy mod vanilla. That's it. No Overwatch, no Epoch, no Overpoke, no Origins, nothing. Just good old vanilla Arma 2. I'm playing on Daisy Europe as you can see in the screen. Uh, I'm not really promoting this. Well, you guys feel free to join if you want, but I'm not like promoting the server for any special reason other than it's the only server I can actually see online on Arma 2 DayZ mod that has more than like five people. And it's actually full. When I joined, it had 59 out of 60, so with me, it's like full. I'm in Electro, possibly the worst place I could be on a full server. But I'm playing DayZ mod. I've missed it. I've really missed the fun that, you know, Arma 2 DayZ had to offer. And. I want to get back into it. Now you're probably wondering why not standalone. Standalone fucking sucks. Um, fanboy over it uh, like all you want. You know, like try to defend it all you want. Standalone is a horrible game. It has potential. It had a lot of um, like chance. It was that a tracer? Or was that my frames? <laughs> a lot of chance to become a great game and they fucked it up. It still has potential, but I don't think it can actually become a good game. It's supposed to be. When it was first released, it was really exciting because of something new. I admit it. Like I said, I, I was one of its biggest fans and defenders when it first came out. I literally bought it less than 10, less than 10 hours after its release. Like it got released, and the next morning I went to the bank just so I can add money to my thingy account, my debit card because I was younger than you know have an actual credit card, and you know. I actually bought it uh, straight off, like the next morning, like it, it released like midnight for me or something. Uh, as soon as I woke up, I went and bought it. You know, huge fan of the game, well, the mod of course, but something I said it's just crap. Um, it used to be really exciting because of all the updates it used to get, but now all the updates it's getting are horrible. They're all like the same thing, just adding a couple of extra clothes, breaking something and then like adding one extra gun. Like what, what the fuck is up with that? Oh shit, why am I picking up that bike? This is better. Um, so yeah, this is not a video just to trash talk standalone, but I'm just explaining oh shit. I'm just explaining why I prefer to play this instead of standalone. I gave it a try literally two days ago, or three days ago, I'm sorry. Uh, with Cory, we didn't manage to meet because in the public hive, I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere with broken legs, which I cannot completely spawn. I cannot like even move, I'm, I have to crawl and there is no zombies or players around. I cannot kill myself because there is nothing to kill myself with. <laughs> I cannot down myself, I spent like 20 minutes underwater, I just afk it. Oh shit. You know, so it, I don't know, it's a pretty bad game. Uh, any gear? Nope, so he's, it seems like he suicided, huh. Why would he suicide in Electra? I mean, he could have been shot as soon as he spawned. Is that Lee Enfield? Oh, that's a Mosin, okay. You may be wondering why I'm running on the docks, it's because it's these... What the fuck are all these? Wooden planks? Can you build things? What can I do with them? Woodbine, okay. I guess they're useful. Um, it's because it's, like I said, I'm running here because they're the easiest um, basic loot spawn points. So I don't have, like when I'm in the city, I don't have to stop for a fucking knife or crowbar or, you know... Oh, I have to wait, huh. Now it's because for basic things like that. I don't have. I'm not gonna have. Why? There we go. So I don't have to stop for these things in the city. So the only thing I'm gonna have to do in the city is probably kill a couple of people. Well, hopefully, and then just loot like the corner stores and the supermarket for some food and hopefully extra ammo. Maybe a better gun, which I doubt I'm gonna find here. Like this is supposed to be vanilla mod and also a hardcore version of it, I believe. So I think this means like no, you know, AKs in the supermarket, but. I don't know. If you guys are new to the channel or stumble across the video randomly, I will post it on Daisy TV as well since I really love that website. But um, like if you guys are new, I've built this channel uh, for Daisy. Like that's how I started. That's the whole point of even the Z in ICZ, my nickname. Um, I was a huge fan of this uh, like game. I have some. I had, well, I removed some of the videos I had on it, but I still have my favorite series, it's Scenarios Adventures. Which me and my friends, uh, well, haven't spoken to each other in years now, but like me and these guys used to play back then, were really fun and we had you know, a lot of fun in Cernarius, you know, really fun times. Feel free to check my old videos if you haven't already, my DayZ mod normal ones and my DayZ RP videos. 
the old ones are actually pretty fun. Well, I had a lot of fun playing and recording them. Uh, nothing is staged on my DCRP videos. They're all like spontaneous fights and stuff in the game. And my mod ones are just like some PvP and some, you know, shenanigans going on. I don't like the fact that Electro is so fucking quiet, dude. It's Electro, it's not supposed to be so quiet. I don't like that because 90% of the time means, well, 60% of the time means there is someone just camping in a corner waiting for someone like me just to run around and be seen and get shot. Or that there is no one here, true, but you know. It's Electro, it's supposed to have people here. Unless it spawns nothing in the fire station. Nope, goodbye, okay. It's been a long ass time since I actually played the mod, so I don't even know. This is a really bad idea to do it here. I don't even know what's changed in looting and stuff in this game. That's a chopper. You can all hear this, right? Oh, it's far up there. Nope, there it is. Is it auto-hovering? Is it gonna land? What the fuck is going on? Oh, it's landing pretty far from me though, fuck. Oh shit, I don't know if it's gonna drop someone off or if it's gonna pick someone up. Oh no, it's sliding down the staircase. I'm guessing they're picking up someone from the group. Right? I could have made my way close and tried to take some shots, but it looks like the MI-17 or whatever it's called, which is a fucking, like, sky whale. It's almost impossible to shoot it down with a fucking mozzin. Fuck it, I'm gonna go there. It seems like, like, I thought I was gonna pick up someone, like, you know, pick someone up, but it seems like it's landing. There should be a hole... Yep, there we go. What? Okay. Is that just a bait? Is he refueling? Is he being... S What's going on? Hope it's flying again. Right? Oh, dead people in the fire station. Is he just hovering really low? What the fuck happened in here? That makes sense, that's why there is no one around the city. Can I just look him? Nope. Yeah, they're all fresh spawns. Is that a hacker? I don't like that. The chopper seems like it just, like, auto hovered really low all the way up to the barns. He's trying to land it up there, but why? Like, he, what's going on? I can't, like, I really can't tell if he's trying to land it so he can pick someone up or just, he just wants to land. Or really, seriously, what's going on? I'm gonna try to take position with my mozin. I'm trying to look in the trees, but I don't really have any scopes or anything, so... I'm assuming he, like, whoever is in the air... Oh, nope, don't aggro on me, please. Can I run faster? Nope. I'm assuming whoever's in the area is in the chopper or really close to it. I'm getting too close with aggro. Fuck. Uh, 